Hey everybody, it's Ashley Conrad. Wondering, have you flown out of Quincy lately? It's been rough. Cape Air says they have a pilot shortage, and that's their reasoning so many flights have been delayed as of late. But instead of fixing the problem, Cape Air just flew the coop. At a city committee meeting Wednesday afternoon, Cape Air announced they were pulling out of Quincy. Now, they can't just bolt and say, see ya. They have a four-year contract. Either they fulfill that deal, or Quincy has to go find a new airline. But since Cape Air is the one throwing in the towel, they'll have to pay for all the costs associated with bringing in a new commuter airline to Quincy. Now, driving to St. Louis to fly out of Lambert Field usually isn't terrible, even though you have to shell out for extended parking. And flying from Quincy was convenient when it worked. The problem is, it hasn't been working for a while. There were multiple companies who wanted Quincy's business before, and the city went with Cape Air and actually had a lot of people backing that decision. For the faith this community put into Cape Air, it's just really sad that they could not return the same kind of loyalty and service. Let's just hope the next airline is more reliable and efficient because flying out of Quincy really is a great option, but it has to work. Coming up, I'll talk to Steve Iyengar about the start of the Adams County Speedway season. Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Hey, I'm here with Steve Iyengar and we're here to talk about racing at the Adams County Speedway. It's back. How excited are you? It's back. It was a long two years, but I tell you, after the first week, and the fan response, I think the future is limitless. Excellent, excellent. So what was different at the Broadway Bull Ring? You could sense th there was an air of excitement when the, when the night was starting. And uh, I've told this story a few times, but I was getting my stuff around ready to go for the night. And the announcer said, hey, Steve, have you looked outside yet? And we look out and there's just people all over the place. Traffic was lined up clear out into the highway. And there was just that buzz the whole night. It yeah. was tremendous. So everybody was excited to be back. So, so that's probably the same as, you know, years past. But anything else kind of consistent from, from the experience that you've had out there? I, I think it hadn't been open for two years because of COVID and some other problems. And a couple of years, the last few years that it was open, there were some major difficulties out there. Okay. I think everything's been ironed out. The people in charge now, Jimmy Lawrence and his family. Okay. Uh, Jimmy lives in Hannibal, but a lot of relation all over the area. They've come together and they they have put together a quality program, a quality product out there that, uh, well, he told me on the Monday after the first Sunday night of racing, his mm -hmm. phone started ringing at eight and it didn't stop the whole day. Oh, awesome. People wanting to get on board as advertisers other racers from out of town word had spread that fast i think the sky's you know virtually the limit this that's year excellent. that's awesome so outside of racing what would what would you say was best like the food maybe how is the food the food is <laughs> the food it might have been better than the racing and okay. the racing was great <laughs> excellent best hamburgers i've had and that was plural yeah in, in a number of years they, they, they've got a quality menu going awesome on. well i think out at the raceways you got to have more than one snack of course so According to kind of what, what you witnessed, uh, you know, the last time you were there, what, what would you say is in store for the rest of the season? There's a good schedule of special events coming up. Uh, a couple of the big late model tours will be coming in. Same with the modifieds. And uh, they've got uh, uh, some different, some, some, some special events planned that I don't think the folks have seen for a few years, too. Okay. Uh, for, for every class they've got out there. And I think they've, they've really done an excellent job. They haven't put too much on the plate and there's enough to really whet the interest for the rest of the season. Excellent. Well, I know, I know there's a big, big crowd of people who are really excited to have that back. So we appreciate you coming and giving us a little more info on it. It was a pleasure anytime. Excellent. Well, that was Steve Iyengar and uh, glad to have him here to talk about some racing with us and uh, more Daily Muddy after this.
A great night's sleep starts at Harvey's Furniture. Harvey's is your home for industry-leading handcrafted mattresses from Bemco, Spring Air, and Chatham and Wells. Twin, full, queen, and king, we have a full selection of in-stock mattresses to fit your needs. No waiting, get it today, and as always, free delivery. You deserve a better night's sleep. Harvey's Furniture, our home, your home. And finally, happy Cinco de Mayo. As a retired bartender, I have a ton of fond memories of Cinco de Drinco. From Corona to Tequila Sunrise and my favorite, margaritas, I could sling them and drink them. Now, while St. Patrick's Day has long been a traditional drinking holiday, a day when everyone is Irish, the prominence of Cinco de Mayo has been a relatively recent thing, which is strange because it's been cause for celebration since 1862 when Mexico defeated France at the Battle of Puebla. Yes, I googled that. Any day is a reason to celebrate, but since I still enjoy a good stiff margarita and maybe a shot or two, Cinco de Mayo is the perfect reason. So, if you're planning on celebrating, be sure to stop by the Abbey. My bartending successors still make a mean margarita. Salud! That's all the time we have for today. See you tomorrow on The Daily Monday.